Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sins, and you are listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. It is November the 24th, 2020, and today the topic is called Deja Vu. Mainly because I woke up with that strange sense of familiarity. (laughs) That's pretty much the definition, yeah. The feeling of living already, uh, of having already experienced the present situation. Yeah, I woke up with that feeling this morning for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. Um, Obviously, it's a new day, but... um, yeah, I woke up with that um, that sense of something feels strangely familiar about this moment. Who knows? I mean, I've been waking up at four like every day for <laughs> over two hundred something days now, so maybe that could be it. But I don't know. Uh, but that led me to um, you know peruse the Word of God. Um, you know, looking for deja vu verses, and so here we are. <laughs> um yeah my my routine was kind of modified this morning and I just kind of did some next dresses and I just kept it at that um yeah that's that's all in regards to my updates and with me and my morning updates anyway um I guess updates on Allie um like I said her profile is still kind of private right now so I don't know if you guys will be able to see any of the videos that she's posted lately but it seems as if it's a lot of discrediting is happening. Um, people are trying to discredit her, and and then she's not trying to discredit them, but at the same time, like kind of being like, maybe we should look at them a little side eye for the way that they're treating her. So I don't know. I don't know about all that. Um, you know, but I just say that again. I just really, really feel like people. Now, maybe this is just me. This is me. I just, I really seriously doubt that people just have time to make up these type of stories just for fun. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's some truth to what she's saying and um, that she needs some true help or protection or whatever the case is. And, um, you know, and I hope that by her speaking out that people will be more inclined to look for these children or to uh help these children uh, or people that are are caught up in this this terrible part of life um for lack of a better way to say um you know and i guess that's the thing when it comes to humanity um you know, we've become so desensitized in a lot of things. Um, so maybe people don't feel like it's a big deal, the stuff she's talking about. Like, you know, you hear about human trafficking every now and then. And, you know, if it doesn't affect you personally, then I guess you don't think nothing about it. Or, you know, where you're hearing a lot of things about the black market and human organs. And all these things that you're hearing about. Um, but... I mean, well, look, I'll say it like this, too, because y'all know what was it like a month or so ago. I shared with you guys what this quote unquote father did to his however month old she was, um, but a few months old baby. So if, if that can happen in regular life, quote unquote, then... Who's to say that there's not people doing that and worse uh, underground or wherever? So, um, you know, just just saying there's a lot of things that happen that we see. So, you know, who's to say that there's things that are happening that we don't see? Or who's to say that there's not things that are happening that we don't see? Um... I mean, and obviously there are, because again, if you're paying attention to anything, um, and I know the media is a whole other subject, (laughs) but um, there are reports of people being found and, you know, children being brought up from these, these pedophile rings and stuff like that. So, I mean, 
I, you know, that's all. That's all I'm going to say about that, I guess. Uh, but let's get into it, y'all. Deja vu. Well, um, I'm going to start off with Ecclesiastes 1, 9 through 11. Now, I'm not going to read that entire thing. That's going to be part of y'all go deeper section verses. But um, one of the first verses in that is, well, it says this. What has been is what will be. And what has been done is what will be done and there is nothing new under the sun so um, I know I've shared that verse with you all before um, again I'm just only reading part of that but yeah friends nothing new under the sun what has been done will be done you know yeah I don't know if I have anything to elaborate <laughs> when it comes to that uh, so I'll keep going. Acts 2 and 17 says, And in the last days it shall be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Um, prophecies, visions, dreams. <laughs> Well, friends, I mean, it's just, you know, this is what he says is going to happen in the last days. And I know that people, um, I mean, me and I guess others, I don't know. Um, there's people that kind of see these days as being real, real close to the last days if they're not the last days. Um, you know, and I know we've heard that for years and years and years, the last days, right? Um but I mean, again, like I was saying the other day, I just feel like there is definitely something happening now that I mean, I mean, there's a lot of things that are happening now that hasn't happened before or. OK, <laughs> let me clarify, because I'm not trying to go against what the Bible say now. <laughs> I'm just saying there's a lot of new stuff in regards to um, technology or things like that, as far as I know now far as I know <laughs> um so yeah I think there's definitely something unique happening now but I mean hey we'll see we'll see I don't know let, let, let's keep going <laughs> second Peter 1 and 21 says for no prophecy was ever produced by the will of man but men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. Uh, I mean, I would say I've only heard or paid attention to a few prophecies throughout my life. I mean, I don't know if, you know, how can I say? But it, that just kind of reminded me of how I was actively seeking who were being the mouthpieces of God or who were being the representations of, you know, God in this, this time. Um, and like I said, I've, I've come across some individuals now that I feel, you know, have, have listening to them has blessed me. I've shared them for over and over and over again. So, I mean, there's no need to, <laughs> I mean, y'all probably already know about it, but maybe not. Maybe you watching me for the first time or listening to me for the first time. So I will go ahead and shout out David Lynn and Marcus Rogers and, um, Greg Laurie. I haven't heard much prophecy from him, but at the same time too, he's done a lot of, um, end times teaching. So perhaps, I guess if you look at it in that way, but, um, yeah, those three individuals are, you know, pastors that I've been following, at least online, um, and listening to and, and everything. Um, yeah, I, it's, it's just one of those things, y'all, you know, listening to, the, um, prophecies. Because at the same time, too, you have a lot of people that, you know, just say stuff, you know. Um, but I feel the true prophecy are being led by God as this, as this, you know, verse here says, and, um, yeah, again, just something to think about. <laughs> I'm going to keep going again. We go to, uh, Psalm 139 and 16. It says, your eyes saw my unformed substance in your book were written. Every one of them, 
the days that were formed for me when as yet there was none of them. I don't know, it just really, really made me think about, you know, not just how unique each of us are, but, you know, the fact that, you know, God created us and, you know, created our entire life, our entire story, and it's up to us to play it out. I know that's one of the verses that I shared with you all yesterday, um, and I'm putting it in the Go Deeper section, um, but obviously I should have wrote it down anyway. I, I felt to write it down, and I did, and I just was like, I put it in the Go Deeper section because I said it yesterday. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, God, God has a plan for all of us, and it's up to us to walk it out, like, you know, um, but at the end of the day, too, It's that balance. It's that it's defining that balance between God being all knowing and us not knowing. <laughs> you know, um, I think people struggle with that that concept because then they feel like, oh, if God is all knowing, then you know, then it's already planned out what, how I'm gonna be. And so if I'm not gonna, I don't know. That's that's that that's a whole other subject. Um, yeah, it's a whole other subject there, um, and everything, but hey, again, you know, I think that's a beautiful example, as it says, the, being the unformed substance, and then, you know, God writing out our story, I think that's, uh, you know, informing each day, I don't know, just marinate on that verse, y'all, marinate on that verse, Psalms 139 and 16. Now, Ephesians 3 and 20 says, Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power at work within us. Yeah, that's the thing, friends. I mean, we do have so much power. Um, you know, it's, it's up to us to tap into it, you know, of course. But, um, you know, he's, he's given us power. And uh, I guess we need to use our measure of faith to, to activate it, you know. Um, friends, I mean, you know, there's a lot to, to think on there in regards to this, this whole idea of deja vu or this whole, you know, concept of nothing being new as well as, you know, the prophecies and then going to, you know, who God made us to be and everything like that. I mean, I think, you know, a good combination of that is to really, really think and pray and uh, be led by God to see, see what he wants us to do and see what he's revealing to you uh, today through these verses here. <laughs> okay, so the Bible verse of today is Proverbs 12 and 25. It says, Heaven is in the heart of man. Maketh it stop or stoop. You guys can confirm that when you go. <laughs> but a good word maketh it glad. <laughs> Me and my chicken scratch. I'm showing my friends on Facebook and YouTube now. Y'all, y'all see my handwriting, man. <laughs> well, yeah. There you go, friends. There you. go go. I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. You're the littles of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day, and I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow, if the Lord's will. Bye-bye. Well, there you have it. Facebook and YouTube, there you have it. Um, This conversation about uh, deja vu. Um, again, it was just this morning that I felt that I don't necessarily feel like this moment right here is deja vu. Uh, <laughs> but this morning when I woke up, I had that strange feeling of, hmm, it seems very familiar. <laughs> but anywho, friends, I will let you all go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get these things out and see, you know, what it ain't gonna be for today. Um. Yep, I think that's all I have to say. Let me let me just make sure. Let me just make sure, Lord. Is there anything else you want me to say or do this morning <laughs> while I'm here on live? <laughs> I don't think so.
don't think it is. All right, well, <laughs> y'all have a great day. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to talking to y'all tomorrow, if the Lord's will. Bye-bye.